Okay, let's do this. So this week I'm gonna show you what is a switch and also how to use event pages. Well, let's get started. Okay, so first let me explain what exactly is a switch. A switch is a little piece of data that contains information which you can modify whenever and wherever you like and that you can actually use the information that is stored inside it to do things that you will normally not allow your player to do right from the beginning. So let me give you a concrete example of what I mean right over here. So let's pretend that our character inside of First City over here is not... We don't want him to be able to walk inside the hint over here just yet. So I'm just gonna create a door for this hint. Press OK. But I don't want the character to actually enter the hint just yet. I want the hint to be like Nope, you can't go there until you've done something uh, something else there. So you can walk on the map and like you can walk around the city. But to go inside the inn, you first need to talk to the witch, for instance. So now if I go inside the door, what it's going to do technically is that it's going to teleport a player somewhere. So I didn't even pick the location. Whoops. Okay, let me just fix this. So now it's going to teleport the character inside the inn technically if I enter a collision with the door, which is not what we want right now. We want the door to actually prevent the character from uh, entering until it goes and talks to the witch of the city. So what we're going to do here? Obviously, we don't want the door to actually like being invisible or not exist or anything like that, because that will make no sense. I mean, the door technically should be there. The inn has a door. We just don't want the character to go inside the inn just yet. So. What happens is, should the player try to enter before talking to the witch, then what happens? For the sake of this scenario, we're gonna say that the character knows that he needs to talk to the witch and a dialogue is gonna pop up reminding the player that, alright, I shall go talk to the witch first. So let's do that. Now the real question is, how will the game know that the character actually talked with said witch? And how are we gonna end all the fact that once he talks with said witch, then if he tries to go back inside the inn, the door is gonna open and teleport the player inside the inn. Well, that is where switches become super nice. So let me show you exactly what a switch is and how you can use them. So we're just gonna create a new event, go inside contents, and under game progression, you're gonna see control switches. So if I click on this, you'll see that there's a couple of things you can do. First, you can select which switch you want to affect. You can either affect a single switch or a whole range of those. And then you can actually do the operation turn the switch on or turn the switch off. Now by default, every single switches inside RPG Maker MZ are turned off when the game begins. And it's up to you to decide when to turn them on and what is that going to affect inside your game. So, to give you a concrete example, let's say that I click on the first switch, which is ID 0001. As you can see here at the bottom, the switch can have a name. So I'm going to name my switch as Talk With Witch. So the, basically the name of the switch is as the player talk with the witch. So when I click, hit on Apply, press OK. And then I have an operation. So I can either store the information off, which means that the character has not talked with the witch, and that is the value by default when you launch the game. Or I can turn it on, when the character will actually talk with the witch, and we're gonna set the switch to on. Simple enough, right? Okay, so let's press OK. Now let's create with this event the said witch that we're talking that we were talking about. So basically what happens is that you, you talk to the witch, you have the dialogue happening, and then we turn on the switch, which is called as talk with the witch to on. So let's click on apply, press OK, save the game, launch it. So what happens? Temperature tries to go inside the inn. I should talk with the witch before going inside. OK, the witch is right there. You now talk to me, you can now go inside the inn. And then if I go back inside the door, wait. 
I shall talk with the witch before going inside, but I just did. So what happens? What isn't what is missing here before we can go inside the inn? Let me show you exactly what you need. So if we go back inside the door, you'll be able to see that you can create what is called an event page. Now what are exactly event pages? Well, I'm gonna create a new one just to demonstrate. So let's pretend that I click on new page. As you can see right here at the top, a second tab appears. So we have the first, we have our door over here, and we have a second page which has absolutely nothing yet. So what do we do with this? Let's select the same image that we had for the door, which was the door of the hen. And then we're gonna say that, well, this door is actually, this event page is actually the page that's gonna teleport our character inside the inn. Okay, I'm done. So now our door is actually gonna teleport the player inside the inn. So now, how exactly do we have two pages for the same event? And how can we decide which event takes place and when? This is happening with the top left corner over here, which is called conditions. Now, the page that respects the conditions is always going to be the one currently active for that particular event. So if I ask for a condition that the switch I stock with the witch is currently on, then this is the page that's going to take effect, the page number two. If the switch is not on, so if the switch I stock with the witch is not on, well, the page number one will take effect. Simple enough, right? So let me just click apply, press on OK, and let me test this. So, I shall talk with the witch before going inside. Makes sense? Let's talk with the witch. You talk to me, you can now go inside the inn. The switch as talk with the witch has been now turned on. So if I go back on the door, I'll be able to go inside the inn. So, if I... And there we go. Alright, so now you know exactly what a switch does which is storing information to which you can refer later that will allow you to handle things in a different manner. Now, something important to keep in mind with event pages here is that the latest one always takes priority over the others. What I mean by this is that if I was to create a new event page, which will be number three, this one will take priority over the seven page even if the conditions for the second page are respected. So if, they will, so if I create an event page over here that has no condition whatsoever, and that is actually empty blank, even if the player has talked with the witch, the editor will take automatically into account that this is the one that, be, that should show up. That's the page number three. And so even if the player talks with the witch, this one will take into effect. So let me show you exactly what I mean by that. Now, since there's no conditions whatsoever to be respected for this one, from the very beginning, the door will be invisible. Because all the conditions are respected for the page number three to show up. So as you can see, there's no door here because that's the last, like I said, it's the last page. All the conditions are respected. So even if I talk with the witch, which turns on the second page, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because these the conditions for the last page are respected. So be very careful with this because you may actually run into some trouble or advantage through down the line that you won't understand why exactly your page isn't taking into effect and then you realize that oh right page three is also taking over effect and since it's, since it has priority over page two, this is why your your event isn't working properly. Okay, that's it for this week's video, folks. So make sure to like, subscribe, leave some comments, whatever. Okay, bye.